so I wanted to do a quick video because I did a video before but it got deleted about you know my thoughts and stuff after the hospital I'm sure you guys a baby um ignore my face because it completely broke out after the baby was born like there hasn't been a day where there hasn't been like two pimples on my face and now it's like leaving spots it's like it's crazy I you know say you never realize what you have until it's gone and now I'm looking at my old pictures and my skin was like flawless and now it's like so many spots but I'll work on it it'll go away right anyway um yeah she's semi sleeping I'll try to show it to you guys this is Savannah oh she's crabby now say hi Savannah say hi But, um, yeah, um, my time at the hospital was pretty good. Um, I went to Lenox Hill in Manhattan, and it was pretty nice. Like, I had very lovely nurses. Like, they were so caring. Like, you know, they really cared. Like, one time after I got the, um, well, first let me say, I got there, like, on Saturday, and they gave me, they put the Cervidil in, maybe almost close to 12 and you know they thought things were going to go really slow because they said my husband could go home for the night but 4 a.m the next morning like or 3 a.m i should say i was my water broke and stuff so i had to call him back and um i got cervidal i got epidural because i ended up getting it i you know after failing the contractions i knew i couldn't go through without the epidural because they were so intense and I've heard that, you know, once you get induced, like it could be the contractions are somewhat longer and more painful. So I got it. I knew I couldn't go through. I mean, if I had to, but I don't have to. So I got it. And um, I got that. And they, But they had to give me, I think it's called Durham, Durham or something, to like put me to sleep because it was just so painful they gave it to me like two times and I was out within like five minutes um so that that was a huge relief like I couldn't have been more thankful otherwise I would have been in agony the entire time but I got to sleep and um you know it was just really it went very smooth um I was in the delivery room for some time even after I gave birth because um I guess all the rooms were taken up I didn't, I didn't off, I didn't like um, request a private room or anything. It was supposed to be a shared room. Um, they call it semi-private, whatever. But it turns out that nobody, you know, nobody ever showed up to the other bed when I got there. So I had the whole room for myself, which was so wonderful. I mean, the hospital food. It was. I mean, I only had one thing that was good, and was like spaghetti. And I think, I think it was meatballs or some, you know, meat. I don't remember. That was the only good thing I had there. The breakfast sucked, and, but it's okay because um, if anything, I could have sent my husband out to get me food or whatever. But it's okay. I survived the food. Um, yeah, it was great. After I got the, you know, the dermal to go to sleep, you know, they warned me about it because this lady's like, you know, some people have hallucinations and stuff, and she's like, how are you when you're drunk? And I said, I just get sleepy. So I mean, I woke up and I was fine. It wasn't half as bad I guess it affects people differently but I was you know I was pretty much fine and you know I was going to the bathroom when I woke up one of these times and I was fine you know other than having to drag the IV holder around that was pretty annoying but um my nurse actually followed me in the bathroom and she you know she wanted to make sure that I was okay and that you know she was worried that I'd fall or something but she was very sweet um um so yeah, I had lovely nurses. My doctor was there. Like even if I'm walking down the halls, I, I felt like I saw her like every time, you know. I'm sure she had other she was delivering other people as well, but she you know, she yeah, I saw her maybe gosh, I don't even know. Maybe five, six five or six times while I was at the hospital. And after the baby was born, the baby had to be in the NICU for you know pretty much until the morning 
that we're supposed to leave. Um, you know, she had a little bit of jaundice and um, her sugar was low, so they put her in there. Of course, I don't know if it was really necessary, but I'm sure the hospitals try to bill you for everything, so, but whatever. Had to be done, had to be done. So be said. So, um, yeah, right now she's she's doing good. She's sleeping a little longer now, maybe six hours through the night, and I'm just so... You know, not that it bothered me when she got up every two hours. I mean, you just do it. You do it because you know you have to do it, and um, it didn't really bother me that much. I just got up. My husband didn't get up once. He, um, you know how they are. He sleep while you get up, but I don't care. I didn't mind getting up for her. But she's sleeping longer now, and I am uh, doing a little bit of breastfeeding, but mostly it's formula. Um, I mean, when I got out of the hospital, it took maybe, I don't even know, maybe two weeks before my milk uh, came in. It was so disappointing because I feel like, you know, watching YouTube and being on the forum of Baby Center, um, I felt like there was just so much pressure. I, I mean, not pressure, but I don't know how else to put it, pressure to breastfeed and, you know, people saying, you know, even people at my job, even though it's none of their business, but saying that, you know, it's breast is best or whatever, even though it doesn't have vitamin D, but whatever, besides the point, you know, they, it's, it's kind of like you're pressured and then it's not like everybody can. Some people just, they just can't, they physically can't and they're not capable of doing it, um, you know, without drinking a lot of these lactation peas, eating oatmeal cookies or all that stuff. But, um, I'm still trying to, you know, give her a little bit here and there, but, you know, especially with the thing of finishing up my two, two classes for school, um, before my graduation. I mean, I already graduated, I walked, but I technically still have to do two classes. Um, one of them is finished, finished yesterday, and the other one I have like two more weeks, so especially with that, and then by the time I'm done in a couple of weeks, I have to go back to work, and I work in another state, it's not, it's going to be so hard to even pump there, it's not like a mother friendly place where you can have a pumping room and all that stuff but you know I, I'm not going to be a stay at home mom I have I'll still have more school another school after this so it's it's difficult for me and it's not you know as much as I would love to um, I just I just can't commit fully to it that's the thing um, but you know and the dog it, he's not bad with her he just likes to sniff her and Sometimes he likes to get close and he licks her and I have to, you know, push him away or something and, you know, tell him not to do that. But, not that he understands, but, I mean, eventually he'll learn that that's not okay. Um, you know, she has an appointment today for two months, even though she turned two months on Sunday. Today is Thursday, um, to do her vaccinations and stuff. Um. Yeah, but she's doing good. I mean, um, she's just fussy sometimes, but she likes movement. She likes to go outside. She likes to be pushed in her stroller. She just doesn't like to sit all the time. And of course, you should always engage them. We did daycare tours and we found a daycare. It is just, it was perfect. I've been all, I think we toured maybe seven. And all of them I've been like hesitant. Some of them I know no way I would do it, but some of them I've been like, okay, maybe this one. It's between these two. And then, I wasn't even going to go on a tour to this place because they said they had no openings till September or whatever. But I went and I instantly knew that that was a place that I wanted her to be because they have this app, they send you pictures of the baby throughout the day and they, you can log online and see them on video. And um, yeah, I just thought it was really um, a perfect place for her because I was, you know, that's the place that I want. I want to be able to see my child every day and know what's going on and you know it's it's not too far from us so <laughs> sorry I hope it's not contagious um it's not too far so that's you know that's awesome and I'm sorry it's been so long like two months for me to come and do this video because I've been so busy and it's been crazy but um now oh yeah, let me just give you guys a shot how uh, um, my tummy is, of course this top makes it look bad, but, 
Um, it's mostly gone down. I think I just have to like work out now and stuff, um, which I will do. I'm getting in, you know, starting to get the feeling I want to go there. I don't, before I just didn't, you know, it took me nine months to get that to me. And it's going to take time, time, even if it's a pound a week. I mean, that would be pretty good, actually. <laughs> but um, it's going to take time to get back to, you know, how it was for my hormones to go back to the, the normal levels. I mean, it's just going haywire right now. I have all these crazy pimples on my face. But, um, yeah, um, actually, that's what I wanted to add. I don't know, for expecting mothers who want to look pretty and do their hair, I had that idea too, but I mean, in the end, I just said, you know what, I'll just put my head in some big old braids. I'm so happy I did because it was, uh, I was tossing and turning, and I'm sure if I got my hair all dolled up, I would have been so disappointed. So I don't, I don't regret that I didn't like get all dolled up for it. It's like impossible anyway going looking nice and you'll come out looking like a hot mess. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you guys have any questions or you know, comments, concerns, leave them below or just send me a message. I'll be happy to answer anything that you guys have to say. Okay, so that's it for now. Bye!